Ector County ISD leaders are putting together a plan to boost those scores at Bonham. Jonathan Palasik spoke with the superintendent today. Jonathan, how exactly do they plan to improve those scores? Good evening, Tatum. Like you said, Bonham has failed to meet state standards for the last five years, and it doesn't leave the district with many options. Scott Murray, superintendent for ECISD, said they're trying to prevent state intervention. A word from the state. Something has to change or else for Bonham Middle School. The other option that we have is to partner with another organization, uh, specifically for Bonham Middle School, uh, to bring in a partner to help uh, us operate that school more effectively than it is, is has been run over the last several years. One option for the failing campus could be to hand over management to a charter school. Murray says they're open to anything that'll boost performance. We haven't put out very specific ideas. This is our opportunity to listen to see what partners bring to the table. And then we will review um, everything that the partners share with us. And then our board of trustees will make a decision as to which of the partners that we choose uh, to work with. This plan of action is part of Ector County ISD's Call for Quality Schools initiative, a move to improve not just failing campuses, but all schools across the district. Leaders have had their eye on Bonham Middle School specifically and have been preparing to hand over the campus's reins. It's actually been in the works. As soon as Bonham in the 1920 school year, that's when they entered year five of the state accountability system. And so we, we've been, we've known this as you know, for quite a while. Dr. Murray says their goal is bigger than just being in good standing with the state. We want every student to be affected by this partnership in a positive way. That's the goal, is to find a partner, somebody that work, we can work with well as a school district that will positively impact every single child at that school. That's the ultimate goal. Dr. Murray tells me that organizations interested in partnering with the school district need to have their applications in by the end of November, and they hope to have their recommendation to present to the board by January. Now, we'll provide you updates when a decision is made. Reporting live in Odessa, Jonathan Palasik, News West 9.